Welcome back from one of the mansion three. Now we're going off to, to level seven. Floor seven is what I wanted to say. I mean, I guess level works, but anyway, garden sweeps. Yeah, just as the name implies, it's a it's a garden. Thematically, I could take or leave this floor, but it actually has one of my favorite moments in it. But first, there's Gem here. Let's see if you can figure out the puzzle. So you got three paintings here. It's a purple one, a red one, and a yellow one. Well, you probably figured it out by now, and if you haven't, I'll just tell you. There's flowers. They all have color-coordinated flowers below them, except the yellows. This is one that I, th th this was like the last gem I found on my on my first playthrough. The last last gem I found on this floor, I should say. And I I really only found it because I was like, oh, where is it? There's gotta, there's gotta be a gem around here. And I was just running around. Putting the, the dark light on everything. Also, some more strobe plants to produce money. Again, I wish I could grow money in Animal Crossing, aside from bell trees. Those take too long. I want something renewable. Renewable money! I missed some, some plants there. I don't know why I call them plants. I, I know they're flowers. Luigi, stop turning around. I did not change Joy-Cons between episodes, but I probably should have. Nope, nope, get back here. Get back here. Get back here. It's kind of hard to see the money in all this grass. It's Breath of the Wild levels of grass. This place, this place is pretty nice. It's kind of weird to me to see a hotel have a kind of motel-esque layout where it's like... I don't know how to explain it. I explained it by whirling my finger up to like, like a spiraling upward motion. Like, you can't see that gesture. Also, that gesture does not explain what I was thinking. It's like the ho the only hotels I've I've been to is like each floor is separated by the floor, so you can't like look down and see like a, a floor behind uh, behind you, below you. Which this layout makes me think of like a motel where you know you you step outside to get to your room, so once you go up the stairs you can still see the outside, and then you could like look across to other rooms on on different floors. Anyway, you just made a, a tree grow in the middle of this. Okay, apparently the hotel floor is 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 fertilized enough to do that. Kind of, sort of, secret money right here. Might have missed it, might not have, I don't know. Depends on how observant you are. What are you doing? You already made it grow. Stop watering it. Well, thanks a lot. You smash the stairs, and now I have to take an extra two seconds to walk over here and swing along this vine. Wow, such a difficult puzzle. I can't believe he smashed the stairs. He made he made me do that. It was so difficult. Now that money really went everywhere. I don't know why I'm surprised, but I am. So we're gonna go through this room as well. I pres I, I assume because of the the growing he just made occur. The door's simply right there. There's also a cabinet right here, which I'm gonna open. I really don't remember where all the gems are, so I really should be thorough. Uh, hello? Nothing? Okay. That's a nice glowing plant. I'm not really a plant guy. Like, I like 
forests that are that are nice. But otherwise it's just like, yeah, plants exist. I don't really go that wild for lush environments like this. I'm trying to suck up that money through the couch. Should probably go over here. Suck up the cushions while I'm at it. I see you going. Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta make all the plants strobed at once. Oh, I sucked up one. Okay, well maybe maybe not. I thought there was a thing for Stroben Mall. Strogan off. Maybe not. I got a suction cup this drawer. Oh, that's not a drawer, that's a vent. Okay, that's weird. Usually beds have nightstands next to them, not maintenance stuff. Oh, there's a gem. Splat. Excuse me. Uh, I wanted to c continue the, the candy name theme that I was doing before, but... Nah. It's just... It's, I think it's already gotten old. It got old before we even finished that floor. And I was gonna do, like, oh, I could, I could do flower colors. So, like, red could be rose, and then... And then I, I quickly realized I don't really know flower names that well. I guess I guess this isn't supposed to be an ice stand. It's just supposed to be a a, a shelf. It, it's still weird. Well, okay then. I think you're so tough because you got a flower in your hands. Or were you trying to make peace? I doubt you're trying to make peace. Are you you're thrusting the flower at me? That's not how flowers work. Flowers are floppy. Not so tough without your flower now, are you? You weren't tough with it before! I appreciate how this game tries to make the goobs different, like... Eh. I don't think it really adds that much variety to make them hold different objects. Because at the end of the day, it really just is, like, get the object out of the hand. Strobe them. Suction them. Oh, that's a snake. We want to get rid of that. But I think it's better than Dark Moon, because Dark Moon, like... I don't know, Dark Moon really was annoying with the objects that made its goob equivalents hold. I don't know what it was, but I remember thinking, like, oh, jeez, it's another one of these guys holding an object. Woo. I'm so thrilled. We can blow those leaves away. Oh, there's a gem in there. There's a kid in here. Can someone kill her drumming with? There we go again, referencing things I don't know. I really shouldn't do that. I've always wondered, like, should I reference shows I don't like? But I, you know, probably safer to assume you can reference shows you don't like more than it is safe to reference things you don't even know what you're referencing. Like, using references you don't know. Shouldn't shouldn't do that. Probably. I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to get mad at me for doing that. It's just it's just going to be awkward when someone's like, hey, what's, what's that reference? And then I just say, like, I don't know. Someone I know. Something someone I know says. Let's get this wood off of here, because I know there's a chest back there. Get inside. Several gold bars. Gooigi takes them. Let's just stop making that joke. That's not funny. It's like, yeah, we get it. You played Earthbound. I guess I just make myself think of that whenever I, whenever I see And inside the chest, there is... It's like most people think of Zelda when they think opening a chest, but I, apparently I think of Earthbound. 
I just think it's funny that you open a chest and they go, Whoa! And then and then, and then it can be something completely mundane inside, like a hamburger. It's even better when it's like a... Well, I was going to say, it's, it's even better when it's a bad item, but I don't know Earthbound well enough to say that there are any chests that have bad items in them. Let's take care of this aggressive pineapple plant. Don't you throw SpongeBob's house at me. I'm gonna step inside here. Because there are thorns blocking our path. What a thorn in my side. Oh man, look at those coins! I won't suck up leaves, but I'll suck up coins. Apparently. But the engine just isn't made to suck up all those leaves, but it'll let you suck up coins. And then I failed to turn around properly. And then do that, okay. It's 50 shades of wrong right here. I was gonna say all kinds of shades, and then I, I said 50 shades, it's like... Well, there's there's an example of referencing things I don't like. I haven't even... I have not read that book, and I have not seen that movie, and I have zero plans to ever do either. I don't know how I broke that, but slamming the trash can the wrong way. You're supposed to slam it into it, but okay. Also, let me get this. Clear up the sink. I guess there's nothing in the sink. How about in the tub? There's some money. I hear the coins rattling around. Seriously, I can't get rid of the rest of these? Okay. So let's smash the sink. Smash his face with an iron! And there's another reference that I I I kinda know but don't know. Like I've heard it, but I don't I don't know what it's I don't know what it's a reference to. It's just a thing someone I watch says. Sink money. Man, imagine breaking a sink and getting money. Like, imagine if that's how the... Imagine if that's how the world worked, where if you don't like something you have in your house, just smash it and you get enough money to replace it. Probably more. Oh. There goes the sneeze. It's been a while since Luigi sneezed, I feel. Been at least two episodes. Maybe three, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get this bench out of the way, I think. Or maybe we can't. Maybe we don't have to. Well, uh, that, that sound in the background tells you when I'm recording this. July 11th, to be specific. It's not the 4th anymore, and there's, there's still fireworks. Pretty sure fireworks are illegal where I live, but they go off anyway. Okay, so you can smash the bench. Wait, am I spinning the right way? Oh, it's Pearl. Well, we got what we needed. Uh, I was going to say, so we can move on. Uh, apparently not. Meet a new ghost. It's a uh, slinker. It used to be called sneakers. And it, kind of another ghost type that's brought over from the second game. Only, at least this one is kind of slightly changed. Because, okay, reveal him with the dark light. That's a good thing to do. Or stand in the mirror so you can see him coming. So just like the red guys, these guys have two legs, or, or two wisp trails, whatever you want to call it. So that means that if you were to be so inclined, you could get a friend to start sucking on the ghost with you and deal damage faster. And this guy's got leaves in his face, so we can't stroll him. So we could get them off his face. We gotta get them off his space. I don't know why I do that. I never do that any other time except when I'm recording. Or I say a thing and then I say a thing that rhymes. That, that wasn't a hit. Don't lie to me. I take that. And there. Oh. 
I guess if I had waited a little bit longer, I would have gotten them. Oh well. At least in this small environment, it was kind of easy to do that. There's not a whole lot of places he can drag you away. Why is that glowing? Or glistening? Shining? Hmm. I guess that's a glitch, because it's not supposed to keep doing that. It's supposed to do that to, like, give you a hint, and then once you've done it, it's supposed to go away, I imagine. It's funny, this, would, it's, this is supposed to be the harder version, where it's just bouncing two pine pineapples at you. I find it easier. Something about the pattern that they bounce in just makes it much easier for me to, to anticipate where it's going to go. Okay, they get it. I was gonna go in here anyway, and then you smash the thing, and then you're like, Hey, look! There's a hole over there. Now, this is one of my favorite rooms in the whole game. And I'll show you why once I finish looting it. Okay, I guess there's not a whole lot of loot to be found in here. They got a table saw right here. Or a circular saw, whatever it's called. I like to call it a fun extension to the poltergeist because the saw stays turned on while it's on your while it's on your nozzle layer and you can just shove it into things and destroy things. Now you may be wondering, how much of this room can you break? The answer, yes. You can break practically everything. Just shove your saw into it, cut it up. Watch it come to pieces. It's so awesome. Oh, hey, there's a chest there. Should we open it? Or should we just saw it open? You would think the music here would be intense. I should add some intense music. I say that like it's not already going. But, you know, if it's, if it's my plan, add it. And I say that. Then it's already there. Cut the whole couch. That's a couch overdone for me. Cut up this coffee table. I don't like glass coffee tables. It's easy to break. Cut up this single chair. You're not a couch! Get out of here! What am I stuck on? Cut up this other weird shelf table thing. You're you're stupid and weird. I don't like you. Cut this vine. You're not in the way, but I want to smash you anyway. Cut the rest of the chair. Cut up this shrub. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's, it's gone. Cut the grass. There shouldn't be grass in my hotel room. I get money for doing that, apparently. They're paying me to mow my hotel room. Keep mowing. Who would have thought that you would mow grass in Luigi's Mansion 3? Luigi's Mansion 2 had a lawnmower in it, but you didn't really control it. You just pulled the chain and watched it go and it did a thing. Put this vine. Get this wall shrub. Oh hey, there's a pipe. I don't remember that being there. What's inside? Oh, I should not. Come on. Cut up, Gooigi! Aw. Keep mowing! I don't know, I can't flick it my, my real life wound. I think I need to put a new light bulb on my lamp. I should saw that light bulb, too! Probably not a good idea. That's probably bad. It's probably, like, gases in the light bulb, I don't know. I think there's, there's a kind of light bulb that you're not supposed to let break because it has gas in it. I don't know what kind it is. Cut up this wardrobe. This is for not having anything in you. Cut these clothes. These are my clothes. Who left these here? Is that everything? Still some... Splinters over here. Ow. Ooh, 
I got a splinter. I got a splinter from the splinter. All right, that's good enough. I don't think I'm getting a security deposit back on this one. Let's just move on. Except maybe we shouldn't. That... I was trying to press the black light because I was remembering a different thing. I guess that's later. That's what you gotta do. If I press the right button, but you gotta get Gooigi. And you gotta saw the thing. I said go away. And then, and then the saw bounced. I don't... Excuse me. Oh, I remember this room. There's another one of those rooms that where... Uh, my joke guns are drifting again. Another one of those rooms that they showed off. Trying to show you the power of Gooigi. Smashing that watermelon. Specifically is what they showed. Think you're so tough holding that watermelon? I think really the thing that makes goobs holding an object better than ghosts holding objects in Dark Moon is just that you can slam into a ghost to get them to drop their thing so you don't have to take the extra effort to get it out of the way. Which, granted, does, you know, it kind of nullifies the point a bit, but, you know, like I've said before, I don't really care. I don't care that this game's easy. I don't know how those rats got in the watermelon. Maybe they were eating it? They ate their way in? I don't know if you could see in the mirror. Apparently I couldn't. There's a grate there. Great! Just as before, we jump Gooigi down into the crawlspace. That is a lot of money from coming down here and strobing a couple of things. It really pays to have a strobe ball. I don't know how there's any, like, there, that's a really roundabout joke, but there are, there, are, there are definitely nightclubs that have gone out of business. And I don't know how. As long as they had strobe bulbs, they couldn't have possibly gone out of business. It pays to have a strobe bulb. I guess we were supposed to do this before, and this was supposed to give you your hint to blacklight that device, but I guess it kind of just did it instinctually. Turn on the faucet. I think it's making flowers grow in the, in the crawl space? I guess maybe there's an, another... Yeah, there it is. There's a hole in the pipe. Or a tea in the pipe, I don't know. We got the white gem. I don't know why I'm suddenly thrown off by the fact that there's six gems to each floor and not five. It's weird. It's like deja vu, except the opposite. It's like, did I already know that? What? I, I should have. I don't know why the camera's panning up. I guess the top of the thing. That's that's what we're aiming for. Well, that and money, which is what I'm stopping for. There's some more fireworks. I don't know if you heard it. I heard the, the, the first pop of it. A bit like... I don't know. I, I want to say taking off, but it's not really how fireworks work. I think there's supposed to be a crow back here. A gold crow. I guess not. But yeah, there, there were two pops there. And I spoke up during the first pop, and then I... I guess I kind of spoke over the second one, so I don't know. The louder pop. So I don't know if you heard it. Oh, well, there's a crow. There should be a door here, shouldn't there? Oh, no, that would be the bathroom. So here we go. Right through here. 
Except it's blocked. That's a pretty room, though. Like, that way, I, I, I've never seen a crow get stuck in a wall. I didn't know they could do that. I know I said before, I don't really care for, for like, lush places. Okay, there goes another one. A single stage firework. But that is a pretty room with the glowing mushrooms. It's all like magic forest. Oh, like the magic forest. Or like a scene from Trine. I, sh I shouldn't have been saying that while during this cutscene, because cut now I'm going to want to throw up pictures, but I don't want to throw up pictures and cover up the cutscene. I got a problem during LEGO Star Wars when I was on that Transformers audience. Ow! I was gonna run up there and get that saw, but okay. Broke a hole in the wall. Again, I don't... Excuse me. I don't really know why they're like, hey, go up. When I'm sure people would figure it out eventually if you just let them. But, yes, I know. Up. Up. Stop. Quit it. I'm trying to open the wardrobe. Not get a hint. And at the time of recording this, uh, Skyward Sword HD has not come out yet, but they've been talking about some of the changes they're making. Oh, I wasn't gonna get that, and I actually don't have the money for it. Now that I've pre-ordered. Metroid Dread, but man, I want it. Like the the changes they are making, sound like they're fixing every, at least every problem I personally have with that game, which a lot of people also have in common. Like the 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 thing that made me think of this is they're they're changing Fi's help so you can toggle it off, so she stops interrupting you every five feet. And and they talked about that before, but like recently they they went into the specifics. And they, they like, my assumption was like, oh, it would just be like a few things, you know, some small stuff. Why am I going down here with Luigi? Luigi can come down here too. My assumption was it would be like small stuff, like, oh, your batteries are low. You should, you should save or get new batteries or something. Or the, the dumbest one that they have where, so you know how in Zelda games, your hearts, when your hearts are low... It'll start beeping at you. Well, in Skyward Sword, they thought, you know what? That beep that everyone says is really annoying and stupid? It's not enough. Let's have Fi tell the player when they're low on health and remind them that healing is a thing they can do. So when you get low on health, not only will, you, will your heart start beeping at you, but then you have the sound of Fi trying to get your attention, which is also a form of beep. So you have two beepings trying to tell you your health is low. And that's one of the things I assumed would be something you could turn off when they said optional buy help. Where am, where am I? I'm stuck. But no, apparently it's like... I want to say like story things. Well, that's something I'm still doubtful about. But one of the examples they did give was like the first time you, you go into a super hot area, she will pop up and say, hey, if you stay in here, you'll lose health. Which, you know, is fair for someone who's playing a video game for the first time. Or even for someone who doesn't realize that the, they're standing in a super hot area. But it's really not a necessary hint. So this way, apparently Nintendo agrees that it's not necessary, so th that's why they're letting you toggle that off. So here's hoping that Skyward Sword HD has more, more instances where Fi does not pop up. I guess it, to phrase that better. Less instances where Fi pops up when you turn on optional help. I don't know why I felt I needed Luigi. Again, what am I doing? I'm getting distracted talking about Skyward Sword HD, that's what. Because it really, there were like only a few things that really stopped me from enjoying replaying Skyward Sword as much as I enjoy replaying other Zelda games. And that's like not being able to skip cutscenes. But you can do on a hero mode in the original. But they're adding as, as a general thing in HD. I know I'm missing something in here. but Ah! Uh, the dialogue speed. Which again, they're, they're, they're showing a change. Which is like, yeah, 
you can skip through it faster. Which before, it was hilariously slow. Like, it was so, like, you could sp speed it up. But it was so, such a minuscule speed boost to the, to the text typing speed that it was unnoticeable. It was barely a change. And I'm not sure that the new way is all that much faster, but it's definitely faster. It's noticeable. And then the third thing is, of course, Fi. Popping up, stomping you every two seconds to tell you what you already know. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for these, these changes that they're... Whoops. And that they're introducing to HD. It's definitely... Definitely a worthwhile purchase if you've never played Skyward Sword, that's for sure. And if you have played it well, I guess it really depends on if you enjoyed it. If you want to replay it, yeah, it's just probably worth it. I mean, 60 bucks is still a lot for a port, but that's not a, a, a discussion I want to get into right now. So I'm definitely super tempted to get it. I'll probably ask for it for Christmas. Probably put it put it up there, like you know, put it on pretty high on the top. Like I keep wanting to say, put it on top. Well, maybe not on top. But I'm trying to be clear that I mean, like, when I say put it up there, I mean like make it a, something of a priority. So this is our goal, but there's bonus stuff. So let's go get it. And I got a sneeze coming on. Well, if I do sneeze, I'll, I'll just edit it out. But so far, my nose is like, yeah, you, you sneeze. Probably, maybe? I don't know. Well, there we go. Last gem. I was slow to say that, but uh, whatever. I didn't need to say it at all. Ah! I'm so bad at this. Okay, so here we go. There's another one of these moments. Suction cup one spot. Gekuiji. Suction shot the other spot. Turn around. And pulled at the same time. No, 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 <laughs> Excuse me, again, gee, that. I think there's actually... Yeah, right here. There's a quick way down, thankfully. It's good level design. Don't make the player turn around themselves. It's always... I I think it's a good... I, I'm not a game designer, but I think it's good game design when you want the player to go back to where they came from, that you don't just ask them to turn around, you put in something that helps them go back faster. Like a shortcut, or... Well, I guess that's really it. A shortcut. You know, design your levels so that even when you're going back to where you came from, you're not just turning around and going home. How many saws are in this place? Well, what do you do when someone comes at you with a with an angry plant? You get eaten by it! You, you, get, you get angry! I don't want your dang plant! What am I supposed to do with this? Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. And I'm actually kind of bad at this fight, but... I'll try my best. So what you gotta do... Is he's not gonna let you saw it, just... Easily. So what you gotta do... Come on. Stop doing that. Where'd the saw go? Did it knock the saw out of the boundaries? I think it did. I think the saw respawned. <sighs> okay, stop breaking the... the gourds. Don't sweep. I need you to... yes. So you gotta get it to bite a gourd. And then you saw it. I mean, you did see it. But now you gotta saw it. And now he's without protection. 
stuck on him for a little bit. And then slam him. Whoops, I broke a thing. Uh, okay. Who cares? We've been breaking a lot of things. I broke an entire rule. And rinse and repeat. Don't sweep. The sweep doesn't even hurt. You suck. I already said I, I'm bad at this fight, and I'm like, oh, you suck. And put your money where your mouth is, dude. Okay, so he'll, he'll chomp the ground, and then he'll sweep. And now he'll chomp. There's a saw. There. What? Oh, I was too slow. He sweeps. And he chomps. And then I saw. Frank saw it? No, Luigi saw it. And then we slam. Oh, I slammed too early. I thought it would I thought it would have him. I forget how much HP worth of damage you can do in a single slam session. And you sweep. And then you bite. You bite? You die. And then you're already dead, so you'll just... You'll just go in my back. That was kind enough of him to throw us the button. Or maybe mean enough of him to, with his last breath, curse Zoidberg and throw the button up on the, the tree where we can't get it. But it is simple enough. Just water the plant. Apparently it's a magic beanstalk. Apparently it's a matter of... Apparently it's a magic ladder stalk. So now we can get to floor 8. And I'm going to end it here. Because unlike last time, I'm doing this with the sense to end outside the elevator. Because I'm realizing I don't got to end in the elevator every time. Bye.